Hey Monica, today I'm back in my bread chair because the heat index is 105. I wanted to show off my Muse headband. It's so cool. It's got little, little metal pads on the inside and there's the on off button and fits around my head like this. And I've got this little carrying case for it. It's really cool. It's got this velvety interior and a little pocket for all the cords. The way this works is those little gold metal squares measure the electrical pulses that my brain makes. Now we all know that brains are made up of neurons, millions and billions, a whole bunch of neurons. So if each neuron was a person and my whole brain was like a football stadium full of neurons, then the electrical impulse would be like the crowd doing waves. Just woo in a, in a, in a pattern and, and the more neurons participating, the more it's going to show up and the more likely it is that this is going to be able to read that particular brain wave. So the question that the Muse headband answers is, of the really big waves that the crowds of neurons do in my head, how many of those are happening per second? How quickly are those waves coming? Are they uh, doing 30 to 100 waves a second? That would be a very active brain, which is a peak performance or an anxiety attack. Those highest states, the really, really fast waves that come in 30 to 100 per second are called gamma. And when your brain starts doing very few waves, those are called delta and they happen when you sleep. There is only up to four of those a second and they measure these in hertz. So 30 to 100 is very high hertz for brain waves and 0.5 to 4 is very low hertz for brain waves. Now the Goldilocks zone, the just right state in the middle where you're calm and awake, but you're not drowsy, is called alpha. It is eight to 12 hertz. And it is what the Muse monitor uh, targets. Now, from what I understand, learning to consciously tune your brain to those Goldilocks zone, to the alpha, to the alpha brain waves, is meditation 101. It's to get to that middle zone on purpose and to be able to steer yourself into that way. And from what I learned on um, this YouTube channel, Tech for Psych, the uh, muse will tell you when you're inside or outside of that zone. So you can tell when you're in alpha and when you leave alpha, it just doesn't really tell you which direction you're going when you've left alpha. So if you get less than perfect results, it's um, not gonna tell you whether it's because you were too sleepy or too anxious. And of course, since I can wear this anytime, I don't just have to wear it when I'm meditating. I have used it while I have dozed off during a meditation, and I've also used it when I'm having a conversation that's lively and engaging. And as you can see, compared to this alpha state uh, line that's much lower on the graph, those other two are very similar in how high and spiked they are. I mean, isn't this cool? that you can track the speed of electricity going through your neurons in your brain. I am starting to feel very empowered by this process, how I can consciously change the speed of my brain how, and, and change it from a anxious and excited state to a calm state and, and having the ability to steer that. And I'm curious, when you find that the speed of your brain is not what you would like to be for that particular moment, if it's too slow or too fast, what do you do to adjust it? And how often do you notice that? I'll talk to you next week.